Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Dylan, and today we are playing Pile Up. Now, this is a free demo on the Steam store. Go ahead and download it now. It's super awesome. It's a free demo. I think the full game comes out, I want to say spring of this year, spring of 2023, but it's a really awesome game. It's kind of, have you ever seen Townscaper? It's kind of similar to Townscaper, but it actually has objectives. It's not just like a building sim. You have like resources you have to manage and all that fun stuff so it's really cool um like i said free demo so we're hopping into it um i've played the tutorial but i haven't played anything else so this is a kind of brand new experience for me we're gonna hop straight into it our island is of course going to be called dill land and our citizens of course are going to be called gamers let's hop straight into it All right, here is our little island. So this is <laughs> currently our dill area, as you can see. But this will become our towering, bustling city here in a little bit. So as you can see, here's our island. And then you have little cards down here with our houses, kind of our different buildings. Um, so we have home offices, gardenless houses, portable houses, and <laughs> small houses. So how you play this game just like most games of this nature you click a card and you place it you can place it anywhere kind of on this grid the kind of cool thing about this game is you can actually overhang things off the edge a little bit so you can actually see that's on the edge and i can actually overhang it off the edge they'll kind of build supports which is really cool which is also really good because in this game obviously we don't have a lot of space so managing space is going to be kind of critical um, so we're going to place all of these home offices. You can see they have a population that, uh, plus 45 right there. That's our population. So each building gives us 45 population there. You can also see these little icons up here. There's uh, electricity, water, heat, and then there'll eventually be a green food icon as well. Those are kind of our resources we have to manage. Those are the needs of our citizens. Um, and in just a second, I'll kind of show you how to remedy those needs. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and place the rest of these houses. I think the gardenless houses fit nicely right there. Our small houses and our portable houses. Um, let's put the portable house. Where do we want to put the portable house? Let's put the portable house up here. And then, oh, what's happening? Oh, we are officially a land now. We are dill land fantastic so you can see we reached a population of 200 so we're officially a land now all right so as you can see we have a couple new buildings now that we are officially a land we have a house factory and a source factory now what these do is we will get factories periodically throughout the game and we need these factories to get more cards so if we place down a house factory that'll generate more houses um, to put kind of in our little deck that we can then place down similarly a source factory will give us more buildings um, eventually to take care of the needs of our citizens so these factories are really important we're going to place the house factory there and the source factory we could place it on top but i think we're just going to place it right next to it we've also got a new building here called supports now these like the name suggests um, kind of creates an overhang a support on something you've already uh something existing that you've already built so i think we're going to place a support there and similarly i think we're going to place a support can I get it on the side right there? Yes, yeah, so we got some supports on the side there. Give us some more extra space on the left there. And lastly, we've got to place down our small houses. <laughs> our small houses, I love it. Um, let's just place them right here by our portable house. Something that I think is really cool about this game is you can see when I place down a building, the buildings around them kind of dynamically change. Um, kind of like Townscaper, things just kind of dynamically change as you place, which is really cool. Now you can see we are officially out of cards, so we're going to kind of advance rounds. So we're going to hold the space bar and we're going to kind of advance kind of half a day. <laughs> Each round is kind of like half a day in this game. So now it's kind of evening um, and you can see we have another home office and we have a new card called a gas tank. Now a gas tank will help us with our needs for heat. Um, so all of these red bubbles are needs for heat. And you can see here's our citizen happiness. When we get, um, what am I trying to say? When we fulfill these needs, our guest happiness, our guest happiness, our citizen happiness will kind of go up, which is very, very good. So what we're gonna wanna do here is place this gas tank 
and you will see there is a red kind of danger icon and that's the downside so every resource has a every resource um, like generator also has a downside to it so this one is explosive um, and when it's placed near an electric building it can explode <laughs> which is bad news so we need to make sure we're looking out for that we don't want to place an electricity uh, box near this gas tank but i think we're going to place this if we place it all the way in this corner that gets all of our heat needs satisfied so i think we're going to place it right there you can see now all of our citizens are happy and we're almost to our happiness threshold we're very very close lastly we've got another home office which i think we are going to rotate and place right there as you can see, we're out of... See, do you see how it like dynamically changed like that? It's really cool. I, it's a lot like Townscaper, but it has its own unique kind of charm to it. Um, as you can see, we're out of cards. So now we're going to advance rounds again. And you see the factories produced us some more stuff here. So um, we've got a park, which will... I guess it's not food. The, the green icons are just like park spaces, like recreation spaces, I guess. So we do have a park. Um, the downside of the park, though, is that you can't place any object on top of this building. So, you know, the whole object of this game is to stack buildings. Um, the parks basically say, no, you're not allowed to stack buildings past that. So, we have to be careful when you place a park that's, like, as tall as you can get in that specific area. So, um, with that said, I think I'm gonna place a park. Um, where do I want to place a park? Let's place a park right here. I think that'll get all of our park needs satisfied. You can see it kind of dynamically changes there. So now they have some recreation area to kind of play and have fun. Um, we do have a, we are past our uh, happiness threshold, which is great. Place down our portable house somewhere. I guess we'll place it right there for now. All right, we're out of cards again. Let's advance. So as you can see, that's kind of the general flow of the game. It's just a lot of building satisfying needs but it's kind of relaxing it kind of it kind of fits that same like dwarf romantic vibe where it's just like really relaxing now we have a new card here called the electric generator and remember this one ignites <laughs> the explosives so if we place that near there it's going to explode our city and all of our citizens are going to be sad so we need to put this somewhere away from all of our gas tanks um and we need it to be close enough that it satisfies all of our electricity. So I think we're going to place it um, kind of right there is a good idea. Just far enough away that it's not going to ignite our gas tank. Um, we have another home office. And I think we're going to place this one where we've been placing all of our home offices. Just right there. All right, let's advance. This is another game with a really peaceful soundtrack, too. I really like the soundtrack. Um, I think this is our last new card we'll get um, as far as resources go. This one is the water tank. Um, so the downside of the water tank is that it leaks. So it's going to destroy what's below it next turn, excluding more water towers or support buildings. So basically, this has to go on the ground level or on a support. If it goes anywhere else, you can kind of see that turns red. It means it's going to destroy whatever is below it. Um, which is really unfortunate. So we're going to place this guy as close as we can. I don't think we can get this very edge guy. Um, but if we place it right here, we can get most of the water needs satisfied. So I think we're going to do that. You can see our citizens are quite happy now. We'll get another portable house here. Maybe on top of this one. There we go. Cool. I like it. Usually, is there a ladder on this one? Typically, no, I guess there's not. Typically, if it's higher than, um, like, like here, there's a ladder higher than what it can be accessible. Um, there's kind of a ladder there, which is kind of cool. Let's advance again. All right. We have some more houses, gardenless houses. I think we're going to place these. They kind of make a nice little buffer there. Um, you see a door popped up there, which is kind of cool. But it gives us a nice little buffer. Um to kind of be able to continue building and then we've got a gas tank which again we have to be careful not to place near this electricity tower um with that said there are some heating needs over here so i'm thinking we place the gas tank even just right um even if we just place it kind of right here in this little nook um that's gonna get all of our heating needs taken care of so i like that advance to the next round 
What do we got now? All right, another water tank, um, which again, it leaks. And then a home office. Let's go ahead and place the home office somewhere that makes sense. Can we place it off the edge? Nope, we can't, okay? I think I'm gonna place it right here then. The water tank, I don't think we have to place. Um, but we do have some water need. I just don't know where. I guess we could put it on this base level here. We could place it near the gas tank here. What if we place it, even if we, oh no, we need to get that guy. If we sneak it in here, no, we can't quite get that guy. Then let's sneak the water tower right there. That'll get both the water needs life will be good okay let's advance i feel like we're doing pretty well we just hit 400 citizens and they're quite happy citizens small house um i kind of like the idea of filling some space here right there that's a space that can't be accessed by anything else oh you see that little ladder that's so cool i just i don't know the technology to make things like dynamically change um probably isn't quite as hard as I think it is, but I was blown away by it in Townscaper, and it just, in this game, it has its own little charm that I'm just blown away when things like dynamically change and new doorways pop up, and I just find it so cool. Got two more houses. These are what? The gardenless houses. Uh, some of these synopsis things are funny. Just the house, no garden included. Um, where do I wanna put these? We could just continue to stack them. Or, I oh, I definitely did not mean to place it there. That's going to bug me. <laughs> There's like a little alleyway there now. Um, there is, in fact, no control Z. Although, if you press control, you have the top-down view, which is kind of cool. Um, I can't undo that, so I apologize for anyone who's maybe a little <laughs> OCD. Um, there's now going to be a, a gap there. Let's place this guy right there, I guess little pipe popped out there. Let's continue. Some more gardenless houses. We haven't gotten any resources in a while, but to be fair, most of the resources in the city, other than a little bit of electricity, most of the resources are satisfied. So um, I think we're just going to keep building up there. And then maybe this guy can talk right next to there. All right. Okay, this is a new building we haven't gotten before. Apartment complex. Be careful, the walls are thin. Um, I live in an apartment, and I can um, totally agree that the walls are very thin. The cool thing about this game is since we can stack buildings, we can kind of make that alleyway more of just a support beam, and we like, barely even notice it. So there we go. The apartment complex is going to kind of stack right on top of there. That's all for this round. All right, we got another park. And we got a home office, a fine piece of art. Let's place the home office. Oh, switch buildings accidentally. Let's place the home office right. Sorry, I don't quite know the controls yet, so I'm getting a little confused from time to time. Place it right there, and that's fine. Okay, so we reached a milestone. So now we get to select kind of a special card so we can get a dump you can pass the round even though you still have a building left um because right now in order to skip the turn you have to place one card basically a dump would allow us to um skip the round even if you have a building left which is kind of cool a toy store you get two house factories and one casino when this building is played or an internet satellite each satellite gives you either a casino su or support every three two one turns um, I don't know what I want to do. I kind of like the idea of the toy store. So we are going to place the toy store. Fantastic. So we got, um, let's play, find a place for this toy store. It is pretty big. Um, it is quite large. But we could kind of overhang it on this support, which could kind of be cool. Or we overhang it. I think we overhang it right there. Look at that. That's neat. You got the apartment complex right next to the toy shop. I like how it overhangs. Um, if I can get a good camera angle. The camera on this game is a little weird, but I like how that overhangs. That's cool. That's kind of a cool, unique building. Okay, so now you can see we have a lot of stuff. Um, and I need to use six more cards to be able to skip my turn, which I think one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I have to use most of them, which is okay. We can probably use most of them. I don't think I want to use the park if I can help it, because I don't have a lot of demand, and my citizens are really happy. So I want to hold on to this one. So let's try to use... 
the rest of them here. So we have a source factory. We are just going to oop, rotate. There we go. We're just going to stack the factories on top of each other, I think. Same thing with the house factory. We are just going to stack it on top of the existing factory, make a mega factory. And then our supports. Where do I want these supports to go? I can put one right there, which I think is a good idea. You kind of want to place the support strategically as for your water towers. Because again, since the water towers can't be placed anywhere other than on supports, really, you want to place your support strategically to allow for water towers kind of around your place. So I think we're going to place it right there. And then we have another house factory, which we are also going to place there. And a casino, which is another unique building. Um, I don't know where to put this casino. It could be kind of cool. I just I know I built the support talking about how I wanted to save it for a water tower, but that's kind of a really cool location for it because it's right, it backs up to like the park. I think we're totally gonna place the casino right there. That's really cool. It's gonna give us a special, yeah, unique bonus. I think that made our citizens happier. I don't actually know. I, I know that the casino like gives you a random perk or detriment. I think that increased the happiness, but I guess I don't know. It's not gonna let me skip for some reason, so we do have to place this park. And that's okay, I think we'll place the park on top of the toy shop, because that looks really cool. And that gets a little bit more happiness. All right, look at this town, it's coming together, I like it. We've got a toy store, we've got a casino. Um, the casino is right next to an electric box, and the toy store is right next to a bunch of factories. It seems totally safe. All right, gas tank. Um, which again, we have to place because we have to have four. Again, the dump, that special building we got before, will allow us to skip our turn and not use some of these and stockpile some of these. But right now, we have to use all of them, which is really unfortunate because we don't have any gas demand, um, which means we kind of have to guess where our gas demand is going to be. And if I had to guess where it was going to be, um, we just have to be careful not to be in range of that electric box. Because right there, we're in range of the electric box. So let's go ahead and place it right... Where's our other one? Right there. And we have one right there. I think we're going to place the electric... Or the, uh, what is this? Gas tank? Right there. Oh, maybe not. Right there. That's ominously close to the, ga the um, electric box, but it's not close enough. We've got another apartment complex, which I'm toying with. Throwing right there. We've got another home office, which I think we're going to throw right there. And then another small house, which I think we decided there was some empty space right there. That's perfect for a little small house. All right. Look at the city. This is so cool. Oh, I love it. It's so awesome. Is there a... Uh... No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. Cool. Let's keep going. I was looking for a photo mode because I think it's really cool, but... It doesn't look like they have a photo mode yet. Again, this is just a demo, so I'm interested to see if this is the demo. I'm interested to see what the full game is going to include because I'm already having I'm already having a blast. This feels like a full game to me. An electric generator. We do have some electricity demand over here, so it could be a good idea. Place it right there. That scared me for a second. That zap. I thought I accidentally had placed it near one of those gas tanks, and I was about to cry. We do have another home office. I think a home office would look very nice right there in that little gap we've got some small portable houses that we can place there and a small house we have another little nook or cranny for the small house we do it right there it's perfect okay let's keep going our citizens are so happy look at that 97 percent happiness I'm very happy with that home office i think we're just gonna place it right there this edge kind of is perfect for the portable house. So we're going to place a couple on that edge right there. We do have another water tank, um, which again, we don't have a need for a water tank, but we're going to guess and place it right there also because that's the only place that it'll <laughs> be without destroying buildings. So all right, portable house. We've got a place for our portable houses gardenless house where are we gonna place this gardenless house it does kind of fit right there i like that um, we need to place another one which i guess also fits right there nice we got a nice little rooftop right there now i like that some more gardenless houses um it kind of fits that nook right there 
Um, and they actually can fit right there too. Nice. Just trying to fill in a little bit of space. Again, part of this game is just space management, making sure you know you have enough space for everything. We do have to place this park, and again, we have no park need. Um, and remember, this limits us to roof space, so we can't place anything on top of this. So I'm toying with putting it on top of the casino, but that looks really ridiculous. <laughs> we could place it right here by the factories, I think. Or we could place it, we could place it right here by the other park. Let's place it right there by the other park. I know it doesn't make a ton of sense with like park need. We'll probably have some park need over here and I'll regret placing that there, but aesthetically it looks cool. A lot of buildings this time, okay. Um, electric generator. We actually do need electricity over here, so that is good. If we place it, we gotta be careful, there's a gas tank right there. But I think if we place this right next to the park, that'll work. Some more gardenless houses. I'm fine placing kind of on either side of this gas tank, I think. A home office. Can actually fit over that gas tank pretty well. I think we're going to place it... Hmm. I don't know what I want to do with this. We could place it right there. That seems to fit well, actually. And a portable house. Do we have any more nooks and crannies for these smaller houses? We'll place it right there. Ooh, what are we now? We're officially a ville. Dillville. I love it. Okay, sweet. We've reached 1100s. We get to pick another unique building. We already have a toy store and we already have a casino. So we're going to get an internet satellite, which gives you either a casino or a support every three, two, one turns. So we're going to take that. All right, internet satellite. This is another building that we can't place a roof on top of it. So I think we're actually going to place the satellite on top of the casino because um, that's actually... That's really cool how well that works. Let's go ahead. This water tank. We don't have any demand in the city whatsoever. You can actually see we're at 100% happiness, which is so cool. Um, we have to do a source factory. We're going to place on our factory stack. Same with this guy. All right. I think we're going to place a support right there. And then maybe get a water tower there. I know it's kind of close, but what are you going to do? Um, speaking of water tower, I forgot we actually had one, so we're just going to place it right there. Okay, let's continue. Our little factory stack here is getting kind of ugly. <laughs> really, at this point, it could make sense to start building... Do we have any um, home offices? We do have one. Let's start building on top of our utilities. So nothing's stopping us from building on top of our water towers and our gas tanks. So we're totally going to start doing that. Um... As we're able to, at least. We haven't built anything here. Well, it's because I kind of like the open space. Electric generator. Do we have any electric demand? No, the only demand we have is heat, which we don't even have the correct stuff for heat at the moment anyway. So, um, an electric generator. We have to be careful not to ignite anything. But I think an electric generator could be nice right here by this water tower actually um, let's just get it yeah right there I like that some more gardenless houses place them right there and a little park area I think we'll place on top of this water tower area right here I like that this is so cool apartment complex where are we going to place this guy? I think we'll place him right here. Hmm, some more small houses. Place it right there. That kind of works nicely, actually. A gardenless house. Is there a little... I don't know. I'm trying to look for, like, dead space that we can fill with this, but there really isn't any, which is actually a good thing. Testament to how well we're building the city, but... Cool. A water tank, um, which could get a little catastrophic because we don't have... There's water demand here. We don't have a, some more support to put it on. It's going to destroy buildings. So, 
Unfortunately, I think the best course of action is just to put it on top of that, which is a complete waste of space, but I think what I'm gonna do, I didn't realize I, time has gone by so quickly. This is such a fun, addicting game. Um, that way this recording isn't like two hours long. Um, you know I love my time lapses. I think we're gonna time lapse this. I may check in periodically. I may just time lapse it until we die. I don't know how long <laughs> this game is supposed to last so enjoy some chill lo-fi music and we'll you know time lapse this and we'll see where we are Oh, look at this. We're now a dill town. How fun is that? Oh, that was the end of the demo. Okay, so the demo just uh, gets us to town. But my guess is in the real game, you'll be able to go much, much, much further. So look at that. Awesome. So we ended the game with 2957 gamers. Uh, most of them were happy. We didn't kill any. We didn't have any explosions or anything, so fantastic. Look at that. All right, that's so fun. I'm digging this game. I cannot wait for the full release. I probably, we will end up probably playing, I'm not gonna make it a series or anything, but we will probably play this game uh, once on the channel once it comes out fully, because I am having a blast. That's just such a, such a calming, fun, unique town builder game. Well, wonderful. Uh, that's gonna do it for the video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed the video, please consider liking, subscribing, um, all that fun jazz as a small content creator the best way um, to grow is through your guys's engagement so you guys blew up the dwarf romantic video in the last uh, mini motorways video if you guys can blow this one up too i would love you all forever on that note thank you guys so much i'll see you guys later Bye bye